Instagram, another Graham video for the BMAC Graham fam. Man. What's up YouTube, it's your boy, BMAC. And lately I've been getting a lot of questions about my Instagram story posts. Whether it be how I get my text to look a certain way, or how I get secret filters and gradients that aren't in the filter section itself. Whatever the case might be, you guys seem to love my Instagram stories, and you keep asking me how I achieve certain looks and effects on my stories. So today, I figured I'd make a video about it. But before I do so, if you guys wanna see what I'm talking about, you could actually check out my Instagram, instagram.com slash bmacadelic or at bmacadelic on the gram. Maybe check out my feed, shoot me a follow if you feel so inclined. But that way you guys will be able to see my Instagram story posts in action. And that way you can see the tips, tricks, and hacks I'm about to tell you about being put to good use. So without any further ado, let's get right into it with my first Instagram story hack uploading your own photos. Now listen, I know most of you guys are thinking we already know how to do that. You just swipe up, you pick any picture from your camera roll. But what you guys might not know is that I sometimes use my professional cameras to take photos and use those to upload to my Instagram story. Now you might be thinking this is a little bit of an overkill, but hear me out for a second. With millions upon millions of Instagram accounts, all those different people uploading posts to their story, your Instagram story posts could potentially stand out if you use a professional camera for them. I personally love using my professional cameras that take Instagram story posts. That's how I've been able to achieve some of the professional looking story posts I have on my Instagram feed. And that's how they sometimes look a little bit better quality than what you might be able to get just on your cell phone. Now I'm not going to get into the specifics of how to actually take a photograph on your professional camera and transfer it over to your phone for upload that way. That would get way too specific and it depends on the camera you're using and the phone you're using. But for the most part, all you have to do is just take the photograph on your professional camera and then in whatever way you need to just transfer those photo files either to your computer and then to your phone or if you can, directly from your camera to your phone. And if you wanna take things even a step further, like I do, you can even edit the photo with your own photo editing app before even posting it to Instagram stories. As you guys know, I use Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop to edit pretty much every single photo I ever touch. That's what I use to edit photos on my Instagram feed. That's what I use to edit photos on the go on my phone for my Instagram stories. I love Lightroom and I love Photoshop. And if you use one of those apps to edit the photo yourself before actually posting it to the gram, that's another step in the right direction of making sure your Instagram story posts are gonna stand out. If you want more information on Adobe Lightroom and how to actually edit your photos with Adobe Lightroom, you can check out the video tutorial I have on the app. Card annotation is gonna pop up, top right hand corner of your screen. Check it out if you so wish to do so. Or of course, there will always be a link to that video in the video description box below, so you can check that out as well. But no matter what photo you're using, however you get it to your actual Instagram story post, window. Nine times out of 10 for me, I'm adding some sort of text to that photo. I feel like text could be a great way to bring some context to your photo. You see what I did there? Text, context, you know, Anyway, as you already know, once you select your photo, you just tap on the screen. You have a text prompt right there. You can start typing in whatever letters or words you want to. But what you might not know is this. A lot of you who follow me on Instagram and watch my Instagram story posts ask me how I get that cinematic text looking effect on the text within my posts. And the secret is this. I actually just add a space in between letters and three spaces in between words. That's basically it. I just, I just add more spacing in between my characters and words and doing so allows you to have a little bit of a different looking text, a little bit more of a cinematic text that a lot of you guys have said is very unique and that you guys appreciate. Now by default, I'm pretty sure the text color is gonna be white, but let's be honest, sometimes the color white isn't gonna cut it for your text on your Instagram story post. You can very clearly select the text and choose whatever color you want right above the text window. You have a couple different options there to choose from in terms of color. Colors. That'll change it up to a different color, but let's say one of those colors aren't exactly what you're looking for. If you didn't want to be limited by the colors that Instagram's automatically choosing to be available to you, you could actually press and hold on one of those colors and boom, a gradient map is going to come up with hundreds of different colors and shades. Now we could pick your specific color that you had in mind. All you have to do is just slide your finger across the gradient until you highlight over a color that you like. And once you found it, you just let go. That's it, your color selected. But let's say you wanted to take things once again a little step further and match the color of your text to one of the colors present in your photo that you're uploading. Let's say you had an aesthetic for your photo that you wanted to stick to. Well, you could do that. All you have to do is select the eyedropper icon, which is to the left of the colors chosen for you above the text window, and then just click and drag over your photo, stopping over the specific color you wanna match, and once you found it, 
Boom, there you go. Color match to the exact color within your photo, no guessing game. Something that is absolutely perfect for matching the color of your text to a color present in your photo. And it's all gonna look so much sexier. Yes, I said sexier. Your Instagram story posts are gonna become sexier as a result of watching this video. I can guarantee it, I can guarantee it. But building on those tips, if you're wondering, you can actually even alternate colors if you want for a pretty cool effect in your text. To do this, you're gonna to wanna to use one finger to actually select the text you wanna change the color of, and then with another finger, choose the first color you want, and then dragging, either character by character or word by word, you can alternate between colors by using your other finger to change colors. I will admit it's a little tricky to get down how to actually do it, but once you do, you'll become a pro at it it allows for a pretty cool effect. But let's say you don't care about alternating colors and would rather something like a drop shadow instead. There is a little secret to creating a drop shadow for your text within your Instagram story. All you have to do to create a drop shadow on text is just type out the same exact text you had on your main text once again, change the color of that secondary text, and then match the size of that secondary text to your main text. And then all you have to do is put your main text on top of your secondary text, offset it whichever way you choose, and there you go an instant insta drop shadow on your Instagram stories. An instant drop shadow on your Instagram text. And I personally like that trick a lot. It brings sort of a 3D element to your text within your Instagram story posts. Play around with it, it's pretty cool. But let's say you wanted to upload a text-based story to your Instagram stories without some crazy photo or some busy photo that's gonna distract from whatever text you actually wanna use. Sometimes on Instagram, you just want a plain color background on which you could type out text or draw something on. And to get it, here's what you do. You just take a random photo of anything, doesn't matter what it is. And then once you've taken that photo, you're gonna to wanna to tap on the brush icon, pick whatever color you want as your blank canvas, and then press and hold anywhere on the screen. A second or two later, your entire screen will be covered with that color you just chose as a blank canvas. A perfectly clean, ready to go canvas for you to add your text on, your emojis, your beautiful drawings, whatever you wanna use it for. Could be pretty useful. Could be pretty useful. And speaking of text within your Instagram story post, whether you're posting an actual text announcement or if you just wanna add text to your photo already, one thing you'll definitely wanna look out for is proper text alignment. You don't want your text looking a little bit skewed or off center or a little bit accidentally rotated. You'll want it to look how you want it to look. And one of the cool things about Instagram, which I personally love, which is one of my favorite features, is you actually get grid lines that pop up on your Instagram story canvas that help you align your text properly. You get safe lines on the top and bottom of your canvas Canvas, so your text isn't cut off by your avatar, your profile picture, or your username. And to utilize this, you're just gonna type out text as you normally would, and then start dragging it around the screen. Maybe rotate it a little bit, put it in the corners. You'll see grid lines pop up that actually show you if your text is properly aligned, if it's centered, if it's straight. Awesome way to make sure your text is aligned the way you want it to be, to make your story post look even that much more professional. Instagram story grid lines. They're your friends. Get to know them better. Wink face. Oh no, that was in the script. I was not supposed to sit. <clears throat> but one other thing I want to talk about when it comes to emojis, symbols, letters, whatever you're using, is a pretty cool secret you probably didn't know about. You could actually use those letters, shapes, and emojis to create secret filters, gradients, and borders. Yes, your favorite emoji actually has a hidden purpose, and no, it's not just to make your Instagram story post look cuter. This is what I'm talking about. Get your emoji or your letter or your symbol ready to go, type it out or select it on your screen, and then once it's on your story canvas, pinch to zoom in, Pinch to zoom in a little bit more. Pinch to zoom in a lot more. And once you get to be a point where you're super zoomed in on that emoji, letter, symbol, whatever you're using, you'll notice the edge of it is actually starting to get a little bit blurry and a little bit transparent. All of a sudden you have a super cool gradient or filter effect you could use to apply to your photos. A super cool way to create your own filters and gradients that won't be available on the actual filter section if you swipe left and right on your Instagram story. And you could use the same kind of concept to create your own border or frame within your Instagram story post if you don't zoom in quite as much. But another Instagram story hack I've received a lot of questions about is how to actually animate your Instagram stories. Several times now, I've actually had the pretty cool opportunity to animate certain aspects within my story to make it look like something's moving across the screen. And you guys have noticed it, you've asked me about it. And the secret is basically you just upload a bunch of different photos with that certain element changing a little bit each time. That's like stop motion, that's how, that's how videos are made. By changing the element within your photos for each new photo, as you're tapping through, it'll start to move, it'll look animated. This secret is so simple once you learn how to use it. I guarantee you, you're gonna be finding yourself animating emojis across your screen or something of the like. And it's a cool immersive way to create content for your audience on Instagram that brings your Instagram story posts 
to a whole new level. And while we're on the subject of animation, since we all know photos aren't the only thing you could post to your Instagram stories, let's take a second to talk about video. As you know, yes, you could post your videos to your Instagram stories, but a lot of times you're constrained by that 15 second time limit, right? Luckily, there is a way to take any video you want and actually upload it as a full video to your Instagram story by uploading separate 15 second clips. Now you can do it the long way by going through and separating it into 15 second chunks. I don't have the finger accuracy to do that on my phone or the time to do it on the computer. I just don't want to do that. So instead, I use an app called Cut Story. Cut Story is the perfect app for actually automatically splitting your videos longer than 15 seconds into 15 second intervals. And as you can see, it's super easy to use. And then you select the export button, choosing your duration output, which for us is Instagram with 15 second intervals, as you can see there. And you'll then see each part of your video getting processed into 15 second intervals. Those 15 second clips will be exported to your camera roll, from which point you go back to your Instagram story and then just upload them, post them one by one. Your longer than 15 second video will then play back on your Instagram stories for as long as it is with pretty seamless cuts in between each 15 second interval. And it's a pretty slick way of uploading videos that are longer than 15 seconds to your Instagram stories that otherwise would constrain you to 15 seconds. But all these Instagram stories, tricks, secrets, hacks, all this, it's really only helpful if you already have an Instagram audience, right? If you guys want to learn some tips for growing your own Instagram audience, all the advice I've used personally to grow my Instagram page, Appy Macadelic, to where it is today. I actually have a full video tutorial on how to get more Instagram followers on my YouTube channel. You can check out that video by clicking the card annotation that's going to pop up top right hand corner of your screen. Or as always, I will leave a link to the Instagram audience growth tutorial in the video description box below. Maybe check out that video if you want to up your Instagram follower numbers. But that's all I got for my Instagram story hacks. What do you guys have for your Instagram story hacks? Do you have any tips, tricks, or secrets that you use on your own Instagram stories that I didn't mention here? Please do me a favor and take a second to comment down below your Instagram story secrets. Can't wait to check them out. As always, I'll be replying to, liking, and hearting some of my favorites. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one on the channel each and every week. I'm gonna go post another bomb photo to my Instagram story. I will see you guys in my next video. Wow, there's a lot of views on this Instagram story already. Woo, the BMAC Instagram fam is going ham, man. Damn.